Welcome to Johnny on Energy. We're here at the AHR Expo in Vegas, and I'm here with Adam Bailey of Apricus, and they produce solar hot water solutions, and he's going to tell us a little bit about that technology and kind of run you through how it works. Adam? Thanks a lot. Apricus evacuated tubes use a Sydney-style twin tube evacuated tube design. Simple technology, really efficient system. The way it works is simple. There is a double wall glass pipe with a vacuum pulled in between. The benefit to the vacuum in this design is, is first and foremost that all the energy that goes into the tube is converted into heat and stays inside the tube. Even at peak production, an Africa's collector may be producing 450 degree temperatures inside the tube. The outside of the tube is always going to be ambient temperature. So once we have the heat inside the tube, our next question is how do we make use of that heat? What we've done is combined the evacuated tube with a heat pipe. Now a heat pipe is, is phenomenal technology. It's a micro steam generator. Inside of this tube is about a tablespoon of water. Now what that water does is, it, because it's pulled under vacuum, it boils at about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. As soon as that water boils, it turns to steam and comes up here to this bowl. As the water flows through this collector, it pulls the steam or pulls the energy out of the steam, condensing that steam back into water. So effectively, we're taking advantage of the latent heat of steam. Now, when you condense one pound of steam back into water, you're picking up 972 BTUs per pound, which is a phenomenal heat transfer. The water flows through, the heat comes out, and you have no losses. An evacuated tube collector. Right, this all comes down to a tank in the house? And Certainly. Once the water leaves this collector, it, it goes down into a storage tank. There's a, there's a pump station typically, and there are several different configurations. You can use a drain back system, wherein the water is pumped through the collector only when the energy is needed, or a glycol system using antifreeze to keep it from freezing. All right, these come in different uh, configurations. If I want to add twice as many tubes for a bigger system? We offer 10, 20, and 30 tube systems. Most residential applications are going to call for a 30 tube system. Oh, great. And how long do they last? The warranty on an Africa's collector is 15 years for the collector, 10 years for the tubes, and 15 years on the frame. We don't expect that the collector is going to go bad at that time, but you have to end a warranty somewhere. So now as a homeowner, how do I know if I've got a tube going bad? But it's, it's fairly simple. We use what's called a barium getter. It's the same technology used in, in television tubes. Now, what the barium getter does is it, it grabs any free oxygen inside of the tube. If the vacuum is compromised, oxygen will get in and it'll oxidize the barium getter. So this will turn a, a milky white color. Ah, okay. But if you do have a tube break, it's not that big of a deal. On a 30-tube system, all you've lost is about 3% efficiency until you can get around to, to repairing the tube. Repairing the tube is a simple process. You remove the spring clip, pull the evacuated tube, stick the heat pipe into a new evacuated tube, reinsert it into the manifold, and put your spring clip back on. Great. Hey, well, Adam, thanks so much for uh, taking us through that. An honor and a privilege.